Hi there, Sandy here with another jewelry making video at my YouTube channel and my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net. Have you ever wanted to make something fancy but didn't want to take a whole lot of time? Well, today's bracelet takes advantage of the designs that you can already purchase, the style of the beads or the components, and you can put them together quickly and easily into something that looks like it took a lot longer. So here I have some interesting beads and components. I bought these beads not just because I love the color, which I do, but also because they were drilled in an interesting way. You can see that they overlap each other slightly. And if you take a look at one, you'll see that the holes are drilled in these lentil beads. Instead of being drilled straight across, they're drilled at just a slight diagonal. You can see it's on top on this side and then it goes to the bottom on the other side. And that makes it so they overlap here, kind of like scales. And I just thought that was interesting. So it's great when you see a bead or a component at your craft store that has already done a lot of the work for you in making it look really interesting. And then the other things I found, these were at the lo my local Joanne store, are just these components. They're just metal components. They've got double channels on the back, and they've got crystals added, metal. They're antiqued with some pretty painted flowers. You can find them in lots of different colorways. I have this one as well. But what's really nice about components like these that you can buy already made is that you can very quickly make a really nice piece of jewelry. And as you can see, I've got my elastic here because I'm going to make a stretch bracelet. Very simple. It's just a matter of stringing and maybe taking a little bit of time to pre-plan so that you get your length right. So I've got two lengths of stretch cord here. Now when I first started stringing with these fuchsia beads, I was thinking that they needed to be strung a certain direction, but actually it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is string three of these beads onto each of my strands now if they don't overlap properly, just kind of give them a little bit of a shake. Maybe flip one over and then they will. I'm going to put three on each strand so that I have a double row of these. And then I'll add one of my metal components. Just being careful to keep them lined up just like that. And then I'll just continue adding three on each strand and then one of the metal components until I've added 18 of these beads and three of these components. And that will give me just the length I need for a comfortably fitting bracelet. Now that my beads are all strung, I'm going to go ahead and finish up tying my knots. And I'm actually going to make my knots behind my metal component. So I've just pulled these ones out of the second hole in this metal one. And I'm going to slide this one in and make sure, of course, you have the corresponding pieces of elastic. And then just tie right over left, pull it up snug, left over right, and repeat for your other cord. So to finish up any stretch elastic bracelet, I like to add a little bit of super glue to the knots. So what I like to do is just add it a little dab to the knot and then I'll pull it into the next closest bead or in this case the little metal post of this metal component. I'll pull it right there, let it sit until it's dry and then you can trim the cords and your bracelet is done. Something very fancy and complicated looking using just the qualities of the supplies that you have. Thanks so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. If you like this video, please make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Check out the other two videos up on the screen and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and on my blog. Happy creating. Bye-bye.